Um, um, probably not. I think. Um, look, I think we had to defend in the second half. I don't think we gave up many opportunities. Um, I think. Like we were very good first half, I thought, um, and the the biggest disappointment is not going in two or three nil up, um, and and it was really good opportunities as well. So, um, no, I, I think we I think we did enough to win that game in the first half, and then uh, I think in the last twenty minutes we had to defend. Um, we showed another side. So, um, uh, mixed feelings. Really, really pleased. The players have been excellent. Um, the difference between a, a good performance and very good today was uh, that final third. That. How clinical we are with the chances. You lost Jack Watmore. What's the injury and uh, how serious is it? Do you know what? We don't know. This is one where we'll have to wait a couple of days. Um, yeah, it was in the injury. Um, yeah, he's in a brace at the moment, but we'll find out in the next couple of days with that one. Hopefully, it's precaution rather than anything else, but we'll know Monday, Tuesday. And personally, for you coming in, you're still unbeaten in your four games. Yeah, look, the players have been the players have been brilliant. I think um, you could see the last ten minutes. Um, the team was was very tired. We we dropped deeper. We had to defend, but you know we had to. Um, our goalkeeper didn't have loads to do, um, so the back five midfielders worked incredibly hard. Um, yes, it's been a positive start, but that's what it is. Eh? We go again Monday. And you find yourself bottom of the table, although all three teams in the basement are on thirty-one points. Yeah, look, I think we're all a couple of points away from getting out of there. Um, this is going to happen more. I think uh, like you've seen the the change or the sort of our teams changed in the last four games. Other teams have made changes. You're going to see more of this. We're going to find motivation to beat teams that are higher than us in the league. We're all fighting for our life, and um, we just have to fight that a little bit harder. So um, yeah, it's going to happen more and more. Um, I don't tend to take too much notice at the moment. Um, I'm just more concerned with us, at the moment anyway. And a positive, three clean sheets in four for a team which had the worst defensive record in the division. Yeah, that's a big positive. Um, it really is against some attacking teams as well, really Norwich and Blackburn. Um, uh, Bristol sorry, are very attacking, but the, the other two teams really attack you with a lot of numbers. Yeah, really pleased. Um, but you know what, it's, it's not a time to rest. Um, we have to go again Monday, we have to be better again next week. And... Um, but yeah, I, I am pleased uh, today. I thought the first half was the best that we played since I've been here. And uh, it's a big one next week, the Derby, Preston North End. Uh, <laughs> how do you see that one? Um, yeah, we'll start work on that on Monday. Um, yeah, these are brilliant games. Uh, with so many teams around about us. Um, yeah, I think we'll have a big travel support. So another challenge, another fight. Um, yeah, so uh, look forward to it. No problem. Thanks. Sean, what's the secret behind shoring up at the back? Is it work on the training ground or is it... Work in the, you know, in the, in the uh, um, sort of on the, you know, the um, well, a, a bit of both, I think. Um, uh, I try and have or give the team clarity on how we defend. Um, but it is literally the whole team. Um, when we got it right and our four players pressed uh, as well as they could, as aggressively as they could in the first half, then that starts it. And we try and keep the opponent as far away as we can. Then in the second half, then it's. Um, uh, then the players have to take the credit. Look, it's uh, there's moments where you put them in the team in positions. Uh, Norwich are some really good players. They take you out of them, and then it's the mentality of the players. And they were brilliant. Um, you know, we had a back five today. We've had a back four before. The mentality of the players not to not to get beat, not to concede. Um, so yeah, they have to take the credit. It's not like you're nullifying or killing games, is it though? Because the first half you could have been three, four, five up. Yeah, look, I think uh, um, I was. It was really mixed feelings at half time. Um, I was so happy with how we played, and then the big thing is, is that when we when we are that good against a look a good side, huh? they've got a strong squad. When we have those level of chances, um, we have to take them. That's the difference between a, a good performance and very very good. So, um, um, yeah, still mixed feelings. Really, really, really pleased. Um, yeah, you just want those uh, three or four chances we had first half to. Um, uh, to be uh, to to have a different ending. I suppose it'd be more worrying if you weren't creating the chances though, and you'd be scratching your head of how to get that right. Yeah, I think that's something I spoke about the first three games. Uh, how to be um, even more creative, more aggressive in the final third. I think we were in the first half. A lot of it came from how good we were pressing. Um, um, and yeah, it's in those moments. Uh, do you know what the players we have in the forward areas are, are really talented players. Um, it's just one of those days where we had I think it was four chances first half where on another day. I'm pretty sure those players take two or three of them. So, um, but you know that, like I, I speak about the chances, but they were that good out of possession, the forward players that they were the catalyst for us um, 
keeping that clean sheet and then creating the chances. And you mentioned the pressing. I mean, Lang does not put a shift in, does he, when he's not got the ball? Yeah, and look, we've had four games in 12 days. A lot of the players have, uh, I've had to rely on um, for large minutes of those games. Um, Wilkins the same, huh? like he's now a number nine or a ten, and I'm asking him to do so much work out of possession. Ashley Fletcher, he was brilliant again first half. Um, yeah, the but Lang, he's um, he had a slight injury and he played through it. So the mentality to to do that and give me everything and the team everything um, gives me great hope for the next uh, next few games before the international break. Obviously, a blow to see Jack go off. Is Omar possibly? Back for next week, is there a chance? Um, we'll give him to the last moment. Um, we'll see. We'll see yeah. I think Omar. Um, we'll give. We'll, we'll give him to the last moment. I think that'll be fifty-fifty. I think. Yeah. What's up with him exactly? Omar. It was um, in that Blackburn game. There was a, just a really slight adductor issue, um, and uh, we have to give him a bit of time. He hasn't played lots for Rotterdam before he came here. So, um, and it was a big game for him to start in Blackburn. So. Um, but yeah, he used to go Monday and he used to fight to be fit for uh, for Saturday. But on that, I think Colker. Colker really did step up. I think it was a different Stephen Colker than what he um look he, he hadn't had a lot of football before he came. Uh and under the last manager and um he's worked very hard at training. So what I saw today, um he can be very pleased. And just sort on the injuries, and it's starting to bite, is that just a natural thing of the, the games at the moment? So obviously it's cramming them in following the World Cup. Yeah, I think some of them are a little bit unlucky. I think like Martin Kelly's is just so so random and then um um and Jack I haven't seen again, but it was the block tackle at the start, I think. Um that's football, I think. Um, sometimes you get the rub of the green. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, but whatever it is, you've got Stephen Colker. Kurt Stilt was back in the squad. Um, Joe Bennett's back uh, back fit now. So um, once we push Omar back, then that's what football's about, isn't it? Is Aziz still um, available? He's not injured or anything? No, Miguel's, Miguel's uh, in the squad, I think, um, just in that position. Um, whatever was before I came here, I've been really pleased with Max. Max's performances, really understanding his position. Um, you can see the fans are starting to understand or see that as well. Um, and Chris, and then Tom Naylor produced a block at the end of the game in the last match. That When the players do that, then I'm, I have to stick with them in the 18. And Miguel just has to train hard, be a good teammate, and, um, and just fight for a spot in the 18. Okay, I'll say hello to everyone. Yeah, cheers, thanks for that. Yeah, no.